All right, welcome everyone to this video. In, in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is um, kind of some periodic trends of uh, acids and bases, right? How structure of a molecule can affect the acidity of an acid and things of that nature. Okay. So um, first talk a little bit about how kind of the structure of a molecule affects its acidity and then relate that to talking about some periodic trends. Okay. So the first thing is bond polarity, right? <clears throat> right. So a polar bond, right, is, is a bond that has differences in electronegativity, negativity, right? Um, for an acid, right, you have to have a polar bond, right, um, in order for it um, to be acidic, right, where that the compound, the, the atom bonded to your hydrogen, right, is more electronegative, so it's drawing in that electron from the hydrogen, so it's easier for it to kick off an H plus ion, okay, and basically the typical rule here is that the higher the polarity of that bond, the stronger the acid, okay? <clears throat> because the higher the polarity of the bond means the more the electron from the hydrogens being pulled away um, from that hydrogen, so it makes it easier for the molecule to kick off a hydrogen ion since the electron's already being kind of stripped away from the hydrogen in that polar bond, okay? Now, <clears throat> right to this, right, um, is bond strength, okay, right? So if in our example, right, we talked about HCl, okay, right? If this hydrogen chlorine bond is weak, right, and it's easy to break that bond, then it's very easy to form Cl minus and H plus ions in solution, right? So the weaker the hydrogen X bond is, the stronger the acid will be, okay? Right, and then the stronger that bond is, the weaker the acid's gonna be, okay? And then similarly, if the base, the conjugate base of that acid is very stable, right, then typically that means um, that the <clears throat> molecule is more than happy to give up that H plus ion, and it means it's gonna, uh, the acid itself is gonna be a much stronger acid, okay? So the more stable the conjugate base, the stronger the acid. So what does this all mean in terms of our periodic trends? Okay, so for binary acids, right, a binary acid is like HF, HCl, HI, so on and so forth, right? So for binary acids, the acidity of the acid increases from the left, okay? Um, okay, so on the left side of the periodic table, you have low acidity to the right, high acidity, right? So right, CH4 isn't really much of an acid, okay? <clears throat> NH3 um, acts more as a base, not an acid, right? But then you get to H2O, okay? That um, is a very, very weak acid, right? And then you get to like HF, right? Which is a much stronger weak acid than to H2O, right? So the acidity of the hydrogens in these um, compounds increases as you go from left to right across the periodic table okay and then within a group so again talking about hf hcl hbr hi right um the acidity increases with the chemistry atomic number or as you go down the periodic table okay so you go down the periodic table the acid becomes stronger and stronger okay so hi is a much stronger acid than hf Okay. And then for oxy acid, so an oxy acid is like HC, H2CO3 or H2SO4, right? Or um, H2CO4 or H2SO3, right? Like these are different oxy acids, okay? And so if you're comparing, say, H2CO4, with H2SO4, okay, typically the strength of the acid increases with increasing electronegativity on the central atom, okay? So if these, comparing these two things, right, H2SO4 and H2CO4, right, H2SO4 is gonna be the stronger acid 
because sulfur is more electronegative than carbon. Okay. Now, if you're comparing instead, um, <clears throat> lost my pen here, All right? So if instead we're comparing, um, say, H2SO4 with H2SO3, okay? So in case the central atom is the same, the strength of the acid increases with the number of oxygen atoms. So again, in this case, H2SO4 is a stronger acid than H2SO3, just like H2CO4 is a stronger acid than H2CO3. Okay. And so that is it for our trends for acids and bases, right? In, in terms of periodic trends, we have binary acids, right? As you go right and down um, the periodic table for binary acids, the acid strength increases, right? And then for oxy acids, right? Um, if you have the same number of oxygens, right, um, then it's that central atom, the more electronegative it is, the stronger the acid. If you have the same central atom, right, then it's the more number of oxygens that you have makes it a more acidic acid.